Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris back with another Proto Tech Tip. And in this week's video, I'm gonna chat about bend radius in relation to material thickness and go through how these two are connected in the world of sheet metal manufacturing. So let's get into it. So whether you're designing a simple bracket or a more complex custom sheet metal enclosure, understanding the relationship between material thickness and bend radius is going to be crucial for your design process. But before we dive into how material thickness affects bend radius, let's just take a moment and go through what we actually mean by bend radius and material thickness specifically. Bend radius refers to the radius which forms on the inside of a bend. A smaller radius means a sharper bend, while a larger radius offers a smoother curve. On the other hand, material thickness literally refers to how thick the material actually is. Now, material thickness does play a significant role in determining the optimal bend radius. As the thickness of the material increases, the bend radius must also increase to match the larger bending tooling that's required to form it. This is because thicker materials are less flexible and require larger bending tools to keep the forces required within safe limits. It's important to remember that metals such as aluminum, stainless steel, and copper each have specific bending characteristics. For instance, stainless steel is very malleable and doesn't crack when bending. Now let's go through some high level rules of thumb for bend radius and material thickness for the different materials that we have in stock here at Protocase and Protospace MFG but do note that this is all based on using our preferred tooling. So when it comes to 5052 aluminum H32, you'll want your bend radii to be between 0.4 and 1.5 times the thickness of the material. It's also important to know, however, as it's a softer aluminum, 5052 H32 can handle small radii, but with thicker material, it might crack if the radius is too small. On the other hand, when it comes to strong aluminum alloys like 6061, 2024 T3, and 7075 T6, the bend radius is crucial. If it's too small, the bend will crack. Now for 6061 aluminum, we recommend a bend radii of 1.5 to 3.5 times the thickness. Meanwhile, if you're using aluminum 2024 T3, aim for a bend radius of three to six times the thickness. And for aluminum 7075 T6, it's best to keep it between four to eight times the thickness. When working with cold rolled steel and galvanil, aim to keep the bend radii between 0.8 and 1.7 times the material thickness. For 304 stainless steel, you're looking at a bend radius of about 0.9 to 2.2 times the thickness. And for C110 copper, try to stick within 0.6 to 1.5 times the thickness. But in the end, the absolute lower radius limit is determined by our tooling, which can form a minimum bend radius of about 0.04 inches or one millimeter. We have comprehensive charts that go through the bend radii and minimum bend sizes for different materials and thicknesses. We've added links to those charts in the description below. For some material thicknesses, there are multiple options, and in such instances, you're gonna to need to optimize your selection. So to recap, understanding how bend radius relates to material thickness is important for engineers when designing sheet metal parts and enclosures. When you understand this relationship, you not only ensure proper structural integrity of your components, but also the aesthetic appeal. Remember, if you have any doubts about the ideal bend radii for your projects, reach out to your account manager. They're here to help you find the perfect solution. And then once you have your design ready and approved, Protocase and Protospace MFG can build your fully finished custom parts in just two to three days. So that's a wrap for this week's Proto Tech Tip. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and share the video. Till next time, take care.